we're at this dealer in Kentucky, and this is Extreme Power Sports, but they've got a couple of defenders here. And I was going to show you guys, they've got this one here for 29.8. Look at the uh, different color now. So this BRP sign is a little bit different on this one, which I'm guessing this is a 25. Yeah, here's a 25. You can see the price on that. This is the JL Audio, so I'm guessing they just haven't put the bumpers on this. But they've got the different wheel on them now, which is the 15-inch wheel. And you can see this one here, it's on a 14-inch rim. So you can see the difference in those two. Other than that, I don't know if I see anything that's vastly different. But I'll show you this. So now you can't get this interior color anymore. And that's what I was talking about in the video. If you get this, you know, Defender, the 24, you can get this leather like cowhide look, which I really, really like. But in the 25s, they're all black with like the carbon fiber. It does have a different like etching in the seat i do like that um, whereas the other one doesn't have that it feels really good um, but you can also see there's no window tint so you can see straight through that and then this one you can see here it's got a tint to it so you can kind of see that i do like the new logo it definitely looks tougher on there and these door seals here's a here's a 24 you can see the seal on it and let's see the seal on this one so let's put them side by side so you can see the seals are totally different see how this one is like this this one is more of a cushion deal, and it's aired all the way from side to side. So you can see that right there. And this one is kind of beveled, and it's not as wide. So you don't have as wide of a connection point. Everybody says these are sealing a whole lot better than the other ones was. But let's see if it's still got the gap in the back of the door. So, I don't see any gap in the floor or the ceiling on this. But like I said, that seal is a lot different, a lot thicker. So, I'm guessing it just fills that gap a whole lot better than what it would. But this will give you guys the new blue in this is the best looking color that I've seen. And I'm going to show you guys that. But here is the new blue color so they've got this red one which they had for 24 and then they've got this so you can see the color here this color is so sweet looking hopefully you can tell in video but it's almost like a matte finish So in the regular limited, you don't get that etching. You get the same etching you had in the other limiteds. Whereas the Lone Star, you get a little bit of different etching, but you can see the tinted windows all the way around. So now you've got tinted windows from the factory. See where this one, you can see straight through it. And this one's a lot darker. Probably hard to tell on video, but you should be able to tell on these two side by side. That's that big six by six bed. I was gonna show you guys this too. So one of the things I noticed on this is look how narrow the, the t wheel pattern is on the CF Moto and how wide the body is compared to a Defender 
where the tires stick out farther than the body because it's rounded. So you're not going to hit your body near as much with a Defender. I mean, if you put doors and stuff on this, the body's so wide, I think you would hit it on everything in comparison to a Defender. So that's something else to think about. The 25 still have the halogen bulbs in them. If you guys are wanting a LED bulb for any Can-Am, I'll put a link in the bio for that. Other than that, I don't see anything that is truly different on these, just face value. Um, if it was me, I would buy the blue limited 2025 that we seen up there and i would get led headlights for it because the bumper on the lone star isn't as nice as a regular limited i don't know if they've got one here okay so on the regular defender you get this bumper you get this full bumper here if you get the lone star these are gone so this is missing and I much prefer the regular limited front bumper and just buy my own rock sliders and put a stereo system in. If you guys want to know how to put a stereo system in these, I've got a full video on that. Save you a ton of money and sounds great. This one has no base. Beautiful color, but that blue is just wild looking. I love it. Hopefully this helps you guys. Like I said, I'll give you another walk around of these. This one's a 24. Remember that. I don't see anything in the rear that's different. Yeah, hon. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Running. Running? <laughs>